Hello and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to take a look at these two transistors. These transistors came out of a power supply that I recently fixed for a friend of mine. So what, the, what ended up happening was, was that these, this set of transistors that was in the power supply, this original set, had failed. So I replaced them with a set here that my friend got from eBay. And uh, transistors failed within five minutes with hardly any load on the power supply. So I want to see what's inside. This one over here with the more silver face was what I'll call the original transistor. This one here is the one that my friend purchased as a replacement for this one. And he got this one on eBay. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these open. I'm going to just cut the top of the case off of each one and look inside and see if they're similar or not. The first thing I'm going to do is cut the leads off flush with the bottom just so that these things sit on the table kind of flat. Next up I'm going to use this Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel and I'm going to try and just barely take the top off of this thing so we can see inside. So I know that this part of it here is really just a cover that's sort of attached to the base. I don't know if that's friction welded on there, how that's attached, but I have a feeling that if I try and pop that off of there I'm going to destroy whatever's inside. So I've got the lid off the first transistor. Now that's the original one from the power supply. Here's the eBay replacement. We'll cut the lid off of this one now. So here's a look at the two transistors side by side now that we've got them opened up. This one over here is the eBay version, the one with just a little tiny blob in it. And this one over here is the original that came out of the power supply. Now the way these are oriented on the desk here, this pin on the right is the emitter, this is the base, and of course the case would be the collector. Now you can see on the eBay one, the actual transistor material is just hidden under this little blob of material, probably some kind of epoxy, and you can see just the thin little wires connecting the base and the emitter to their respective terminals. And then there's nothing else going on here, this stuff is just mounted directly to the base plate of the transistor itself. Over here on the original you can see that the emitter and the base are tied very clearly to this large wafer which itself is bigger than that blob of epoxy and that is mounted securely to this extra piece of metal that's here that's also in turn mounted to the collector plate. And then even on this one the wires connecting the wafer are an order of magnitude thicker. So definitely much better construction on the original part. Now you may be able to see here that the original part was an ST brand out of Malaysia and it's a 2N3772. The eBay version claims to be a Motorola version also 2N3772 but made in Mexico. So there you go. This is what you're getting from eBay. Presumably some Chinese manufacturer that's you know, ripping these off and just putting the bare minimum in here to make them act as a transistor versus a real one that you would buy from a reputable parts distributor like DigiKey or Mauser. So the moral of the story here is if you're buying replacement electronic parts like this, try and get your parts from a reputable place like Mauser or DigiKey instead of a place like eBay or maybe even Amazon because you just don't know what you're going to get. Okay, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for my transistor teardown. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. And if you'd like to support my channel in another way, please consider visiting my Amazon store, which you'll find linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.